I created my own Fortnite Juice World concert. This entire thing was created by me using a 3D software, and here's how I did it. I chose six of Juice's best and most popular songs. The first song is Lean With Me. I spent the first couple of days rebuilding the environment of the music video. I modeled objects from scratch and filled it with some Fortnite assets, trying to get as close to the music video set as possible. For the Lean With Me scene, I wanted to recreate the outfit Juice wore in the music video. And in a previous video, I already created two different Juice World skins. So I took the head of my old Juice World skin, retextured his dreads, and I gave him a similar green hoodie. Looks perfect so far. I wanted to have one outfit for each song, meaning I still had to create three more. We're one week in and I finished the skin and the scene for the first song. Now, um, what's next? I need to figure out an animation for the Juice World skin. For the character animation, I will use my $20,000 motion capture suit. It has 17 trackers on various parts of my body to analyze my movement, which I can then transfer over to a Fortnite skin. Hey, what's up? Everything good? Yeah? For the facial animation, I downloaded an app which lets me record my facial movement, which I can then project onto Juice World. And now he's talking. He's, he basically says whatever I say. That way I can transfer my movement over to Juice World and make him sing his own song. It was time. First, I knelt on the floor, because Juice did the same in the music video. The idea was to have the camera spin around the chairs and he would be kneeling in the middle. He then slowly stands up and walks over to the other side of the room. I swear recording in this suit is so awkward. He walks over there and then helps up the player or the character that actually watches the event. They then both walk over to the chairs and sit down. This was particularly difficult as I didn't have space to put 9 chairs in the hallway of my apartment. I spent the next two days cleaning up the data and then finally... Alright, the first scene is done. On to the second song, Robbery. I once again really liked the vibe of the music video and decided I wanted to do something similar. Starting with the skin, which is really simple this time. Juice's iconic robbery outfit. For the scene, I started by importing Fortnite bushes and trees. Then I focused on figuring out the basic shape of the landscape. Added some desert grass to closer match the music video. Added the bushes, the first set of trees, and then the second set of trees. I then added the same wedding chairs from the music video in the middle. And I added some players that would sit on the chairs watching Juice World perform. On day 15, I was Watching back the music video to get some ideas. On day 17, I then started practicing some of the moves. On day 19, I went to IKEA and bought a pet monkey. Look at his smile. On day 20, I started seeing some more progress and I was pretty much able to perfectly do the moves. The next day, I then decided it was time to get in the motion capture suit. This is what all the practice has led to. I took one last deep breath. I was ready. Why is Ninon calling me? Wanna play Minecraft Bed Wars? I'm busy, sorry. I'm already in my motion capture suit. I'm about to record. Okay. Okay. I got that bread! I got that bread! I got one! I got one! Nice! We played Bed Wars that entire night. Will you marry me? Oh my god. Yes, I will. Yes, I will, Ninon. Oh, oh, green! Oh my god, wait, green! green. green. It's actually hard to play in this suit. The next day, I then actually recorded the performance, and it turned out great. Another iconic part from the music video was the taxi. So I decided to start the scene off with the camera slowly zooming into Juice. It then cuts to a close-up of Juice singing the song. From there on, it slowly fades back into the player's perspective, and Juice well does his performance. I also noticed that in the music video, the trees were on fire. So I experimented around, trying to get some good-looking fire. You know what this reminds me of? This crazy scene from the Travis Scott event. Just imagine I did something so Similar. How sick would that be? But yeah, that would probably take an extra week to do, so <laughs> there, there's no way I'm doing that. It actually only took six days. <laughs> I set tons of trees on fire, made Juice World massive, made the players bounce up and down, and recreated the meteor rain effect from the Travis Scott event. That means the robbery scene is done. Only four more to go, and the next one is Legends. For the outfit, I used the one that I created in my previous video. For the scene, I started by adding in an ocean and a sun. The song Legends kind of gives me a heaven type of vibe, which gave me the idea to add angel wings to the Juice World skin. What I had in mind was to have Juice World fly over the ocean sunset. I know I haven't shown you guys the full concept yet, but obviously I have to somehow transition from each scene to the next one. Since I gave Juice World the angel wings, what if he flies through the sky of the robbery scene and the camera then kind of follows him into the ocean scene for legends? Guys, I'm actually shocked at how good this worked. camera then goes back into the view of the player who is flying right next to him. I wanted to keep the scene simple but it felt too empty. So I decided to add an orange rift type of lens flare which randomly pops up and then flies towards the sun. For the transition to the next scene, I wanted the player to crash out of the sky. So I got back into the motion capture suit, laid flat on my piano chair and then just basically started moving my hands and my legs really weird like I was falling out of the sky. Later in the 3D software, I could then take the pelvis of the character and just start rotating it around. And that actually turned out fine and worked surprisingly well. 
We are now 51 days in. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. This is now officially the longest time I've ever gone without uploading on YouTube in my entire six years since I started. It's not looking too great. I'm losing subs at the moment. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the effort I'm putting in this video is, is gonna be worth it. We're halfway done. Time for scene number four, Lucid Dreams. The first few days, I worked on the transition. I made it so the player catches himself and goes into the skydiving position. And then I added some more players to make it feel like an actual event. I once again added in the lens flare, which is going to hit the ground and spawn in Juice World. Day 55, I spent the entire day just watching videos of Juice World perform. Day 56 is when I realized that I had a severe Bed Wars addiction. I basically just played for two days straight. Day 58, I got started on the outfit. And this is based on an outfit he wore on stage. I took the head and gave him glasses with pearl chains. I added the Louis Vuitton jacket with all the different bags and the two straps going around his body. For the scene, I started with a space background, added some mountains, added some planets, lens flares, and to finish it off, some space rocks floating around. On day 60, after a few more days of practicing and planning, I then recorded the motion capture performance. After that, I added some more effects, and that meant the scene was done. That means there's only two more scenes remaining, and the next one is Wishing Well. For the skin, I used the album cover outfit that I made in the previous video. We're 67 days in and I'm starting to realize something bad. I'm rushing certain things because I've been working on this project for so long to the point where all I want is to get done with it. This became obvious the next few days when I tried to recreate the album cover, but it just looked horrible. I wasn't trying to make the best animations I could anymore. I was just trying to get them done as fast as I could. All of this made me forget why I started this project. The goal was to pass on Juice World's legacy to create something that will inspire people. So I decided it doesn't matter how long it's gonna take or how many subs I'm gonna lose. I will make this the best possible video. With that newly found motivation, I kept going on the environment. And since I still couldn't get it to look how I wanted, I asked my friend Libby for help, and he got it to look exactly how I wanted. Since there were birds and butterflies on the cover art, I decided to add those as well. I wanted to have Juice World huge behind the mountains performing to his song. So I put on my suit, I put on my gloves, I put in all the trackers, I put on the headband, and turned on some opera music. It helps me concentrate, okay? And with that, it meant there was only one scene left to do. Burn. For the skin, I once again recreated the album cover outfit. I also got help from Leewee again, as he provided me with the basics for the scene. I then expanded the scene using rock assets to build a canyon with a lava floor where the player would fly through. The idea was to create a place resembling hell. I'm currently trying to create a transition from the normal world of the last scene to the hell scene. This right here is what I have so far. And then in the hell scene, I placed down some rocks. They're basically just floating, but the camera is gonna be really close moving down, so that should be fine. He flies through the canyon before he then gets to the Spot where Juice World is. In the song Burn, he actually talks about chains and trying to get set free from them. So I decided to put Juice World on an island with lava around and chain him up. And he's trying to get rid of the chains. For this, I actually took two ropes and tied them to the leg of my bed. I could then hold on to them and act like chains were holding me back. The last few days, I've been cleaning up the motion capture data, making sure Juice World's coat doesn't clip through his legs. I created a portal and then also added effects for it. It's day 99. That is crazy. We did it. We're done. There's only one more thing left to say. Long live Juice World. The concert ended up being six minutes long and I decided to upload it as a separate video. It's coming out in exactly 48 hours of this video going live. Just the concert, no talking, only his music.